Does it taste like a dessert? It's not good, is it? I can tell by your face. <laughs> Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> We're back for a disclaimer. There's a little asterisk here. Welcome back to Japan. <laughs> All right, guys, so these videos that you've been seeing and the one today were all shot before the virus got to the magnitude that it is in our current location. And you'll see in this vlog that we're starting to get to the point where we can see things thinning out. And in future vlogs, you're going to see we've only got a couple more and then we go on isolation. So right. it gets to a very different level at that point. So expect about two more videos after this of our adventure time in Japan. Then after that, isolation series. <laughs> But in the meantime, sit back, enjoy stay safe. this, and um, yeah, stay safe. We're still with you guys here, fighting the good fight. Let's do this. As a full-time traveling family, we have had the local fare wherever we go. And although we have traveled through Central America, South America, and Europe, and have had some incredible food, we haven't had the opportunity to get terribly experimental. Dried codfish. I honestly have no idea how you cook this or eat this, or do you just peel it off? And I'm going to have to ask the lady behind the counter. Morocco did throw us for a bit of a curveball when we went on the street food tour. Yeah, so like, so wow. like sheep. That's the sheep's head? Yes. yes. But now that we are in Asia, one of the things we are looking forward to is seeing how far we can push the envelope of what our taste buds can handle. Let me just eat it, don't talk about it. I'm trying to get it down. Join us in Kyoto's Nishiki Market as we take our turn at one of the most fabulous and famous food alleys of Japan. Welcome to Nishiki Market, known as Kyoto's Kitchen. It is five blocks of massive food stalls, stuff you can buy to cook at home, um, or you can just eat it, pick it up on the side and eat it. There's so much to see here, from spices to tea to sushi, you name it, and it's here. Now we knew one thing, and that's that the kids were starving, so we decided to start out easy and try our hand at goiza, or what most of us call dumplings. Yeah. Okay. One of these? Well, we're going straight into dumpling land. We're going to Gyoza Dumplings and right here, well, let's just say that we've had, whether, whether you want to call them pot stickers, you want to call them dumplings, you want to call them whatever you want to call them, but they're delicious, they're good, and they are just fresh off the grill. Okay. They're super hot. They're good. Mm. <laughs> Over this is this might fall, Marco, so you're gonna have to be real careful, okay? Yeah, I know. We're eating gyoza. Gyoza, is that how you say it? It's really good. Oh my god. Pork um, dumplings. They are so good. This is our second round. We couldn't even talk through our first one. Mm, so good. Mm -hmm. So those were the best dumplings I have ever Same. had. Same. I know we're hungry, but they were really, really, really good now. Let's go see what else we can find for food here because I think it's just going to get better and better and better and better. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's we're just see. Ready to, we're going to what looks like What's octopus balls. Yes. Is it octopus? Yes, I don't get it. Okay. Yes, that's right. We were heading right into the fire with octopus balls. Are you sure you want to I don't think it's really balls, balls. Do you? Um, they're round. Eight. They're balls. <laughs> <laughs> octopus don't have, oh god. We're gonna have to edit this out now. Takayaki, or octopus balls. So is that cheese in there? Is a ball-shaped batter-based Japanese snack which is cooked in a special molded pan. Look how fast he does that. It's typically filled with diced octopus, tempura scraps, pickled ginger, and green onion. So it's not a lot of octopus. In it. It's more batter than octopus. Yeah, here's a piece of art. The balls are brushed with takoyaki sauce, which is similar to Worcestershire sauce, and mayonnaise, and then sprinkled with shavings of dried bonito fish. Does that sound good yet? Oh, okay. And what's this? Fish? Uh, dried tuna. Dried tuna? Yes. Oh, well, your favorite. Okay. That doesn't smell very good right there. Come on, don't be afraid. I don't really like the smell. Yep, no. Nope. Takoyaki is the quintessential Japanese street food. That's good, right? Yeah, it's good. It's, it's jarring at first because it smells funny, but... But it can also be found at convenience stores, food trucks, and in people's homes. Though the one thing you can never be prepared for is how hot the balls are served. It's kind of hot, so be careful. Anyone who wants to say that octopus balls sounds intimidating, <laughs> um, it just... It, it's actually really, really, really... It's really good. Careful, they're still hot. Oh. You're not going to spit it out oh, again, oh. are you? <laughs> oh. 
Fuck it up. Is that hot still? It's really hot. Oh my god. Pace yourself, honey. Pace yourself. With all that being said, we have now gone and we have basically matured on beyond the proverbial octopus balls and the and the dumplings. And we're ready to try something really interesting. This alleyway of food, gotta watch out, Mr. Taxi Man, uh, is is something that is a is a tourist mecca. But in today's world, because of the whole pandemic of what's going on, there's so little people here. So we have this place virtually all to ourselves. When we say virtually, it means that there's only like like a mild crowd, not like a massive crowd. Next on our list is something that Largo was looking forward to all day. And quite frankly, what we as a family have been looking forward to in Japan. So one of the things that made us sort of fall in love with the idea of coming to Japan is that we are big sushi freaks. And here on Mishimi Market, Mashika Market, where are we? <laughs> anyway, there's an amazing place here. We're going to get some sashimi and, and enjoy what we're at. So right now, I'm eating salmon sashimi. And hey, mine. This is mine. Hold on. Please. So right now, I'm eating salmon sashimi. Which, hey, hey. I'm getting the wasabi. You don't want that, right? You want it? I want some wasabi, yeah. Don't you dare. Mine. Ah, share, kids, share. So the thing about sushi here in Japan is that Japan is, yes, indeed, the home of the sushi, at least as far as we've been told from everyone that we know here in Japan. If you're in Korea, you may say you're hoping sushi, but this is different. Like roll sushi, like you get like seaweed wrapped with rice and seaweed fish in the middle. That is like this, the Korean style of sushi. That, what you get here is flat out just fish. So what we're trying here is just sashimi. It's sashimi and it is... You can never say that one. It is. I've been saying it for 30 years and I still can't say it right. And it, this is what you get. It is melt in your mouth, delicious. And you have no idea that you had just had some raw fish. You want to chase that? So you want to chase that with an oyster? The biggest oyster you've ever had in your yeah. life. You ready? Oh my gosh, ready? Oh. <laughs> Without hot sauce and a saltine and it still tastes great. And then take this. <laughs> Everything in here is green. The rain from St. Patrick's Day. So at this point, we've just entered into what seems to be the land of like the the, the, the really dark green leprechaun. Everything is like really just like a deep green, and it has to do with like green tea. Yes, in Japan, you can get just about anything in matcha, commonly known as green tea flavor. It is sold everywhere, including supermarkets and convenience stores, and especially at the beginning of summer when new tea leaves are harvested. Some places set up a special section for matcha-flavored sweet products. And today, we're going to try something I think we can all sink our teeth into. I'm frothing at the mouth right now. You see, in a place like this, you can get everything green tea. You can get green tea beans, you can get green tea paste, you can get green tea, but you can also get green tea ice cream. And in this case, we're gonna try our best with green tea gelato with, well, Jessica has something special in mind. They have matcha, ice cream, gelato, Sorbet, sorbet, anything you can imagine. We got the matcha gelato with brown sugar, and it is unbelievable. I don't even like matcha, this is so good. <laughs> I think it's the brown sugar that makes a difference because matcha is kind of strong. Now, if there is another thing that has amazed us, it is how there is a sense of cleanliness and hygiene here. Just about everywhere we walk to, they would offer up antibacterial hand spray. Sorry, uh, I'll go to the tea. Oh. Yep. Okay. What do you got though? Okay. And this is great because there's a lot of finger foods here and these prawns, which are basically larger shrimp, were something that we had to try. Mm -hmm. Spicy. Yeah, yeah, spice, we like spice. Everything. Everything. So these here are monster shrimp and they douse it with oil and spiciness. I know Jess, okay, here's the thing. Jessica didn't like these that much because she can't really handle the spice that well. I'm right here, I can hear you. Is it hot? Is it spicy? It's not too hot, it's not too spicy. Ooh. I want to give it a little bit spicy. If you're in the spice, this is actually delicious. It just, it doesn't melt in your mouth. Crunchy, it's it's kind chewy. It's a little chewy. It is. It's still delicious. Arigato ah, Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
Hello. You see, the thing about a place like this is that you don't come to a location that is exotic and that is interesting, that, and that has a whole bunch of different cultures and, and feelings about cuisine and not try something different. So today, we're gonna try, well, we're gonna go a little bit off the deep end, meaning well, Jessica's gonna try something that we never thought we'd try before, at least not looking like this. Oh my God. Little bird's egg. Ah, okay. Ah, inside? inside yeah. A little bird's egg inside the yeah. octopus? Oh. It's an octobird. Just... Octobird? That's what it's called? <laughs> because it's an octopus stuffed with an egg? That sounds scary. <laughs> is that a Japanese thing or is that just something you give to the tourists? Uh, no, you guys eat it too, okay. <laughs> That just looks like like an animated <laughs> emoji. It looks way like you scream at you saying, "Don't eat me!" Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Where are the kids? They're not gonna watch me eat this. Whoa! Okay. This is a good thumbnail. You should take this as a thumbnail. So, you sure you want to try this? We came to Asia for a reason. Try different things. I don't know about the egg part. No. Oh my gosh! You can just oh, what is that inside there? It's okay. Seriously? I'm proud of you, you know that. I don't think I like it. Really? No. Okay. Okay. It's that thing. He doesn't like eggs at all. I was going all <laughs> Do you like it? I find that if you just throw it all in all at once, thank you so much. <laughs> that was so needed. <laughs> it tastes more like soy sauce than anything else. It wasn't bad, yeah. was it? No, it's quite good. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't. I don't think I want another one. Though. I didn't have it on record. Can you do it again? We'll get another one. <laughs> That's so cool, Largo. It's so cool. There is only so much eating we can do back to back to back to back. And so we had to take a breather from the food. And when we saw this really cute sock shop, we had to stop and see what we could find. Oh, those are cute. I am definitely getting some socks. All right, Nishiki Market is not just food. There's so many cute things. We're gonna come back here on a shopping spree at some point, but right now we can't resist because we're low on socks. Look at these cute socks. Four toes here and big toe here. And then we can do the other ones, which are all the toes. <laughs> You realize though, when we get to, to Southeast Asia, which is like Philippines and them, there's no socks to be worn. I only have like two pairs. I'm wearing Avalon socks right now. Yeah, I need she's to get. My socks I need to get some socks. I don't know which ones I want. I love these, but I have big feet, so I'm gonna have to go with the bigger ones. What are mm -hmm. you thinking, Avalon? I'm, I don't know. I like the sushi ones, but I already have sushi stuff. Okay. So Men. I think I want these. Ones. Men's aside. Men's over mm. there. Hi. Okay. Small. Yeah, mm. I need a bigger mm. one. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I need mm. bigger. I grabbed from the wrong spot. Well, I don't like those colors. It's three. Do we have enough money, Will? We have we have as much money as you need. Okay. All right. So honestly, we'd like to be able to say that we accomplished everything in this marketplace all day today. No. Nope. But there's no way close we, that we can do that. We're gonna have to come back another day and hit a couple places that we missed. So we're gonna close it out for now, but we're gonna come right back and say we're back again. But that's gonna happen like that. So welcome back to where we just came from <laughs> like two seconds ago, except for it's another day. And there. we're already craving this place again, so we are back. We don't have the kids with us just for the first part while we drink some local beer because they are in a ninja experience. When the kids are away, mama and papa are gonna play. Don't say that. <laughs> Listen, when you're in a country, you gotta try everything and that includes the drinks. So we are at the Tango Kingdom Brew Pub, which is here in Nishiki Alley, Nishiki Market. And the one thing that you always think about when you think about Japan is you think like sake, right? Well, in this case, the beer revolution has occurred and it's thriving in this country. So being the inexperienced beer drinker that I am, the first thing I thought was they're gonna give us seven samples and how am I gonna know which is which? Look at this, guys. <laughs> 
a chart. How cute is that? Now let's see if I can put them back in the right spot. All right, so at this point, we have tried all of these. Oh, again, I was picking stuff okay. out of my teeth. <laughs> Yeah, I was picking nuts out of my teeth. Is it good? Sorry. Okay, so we've tried all these and I have to try sort of one more just to get it all down because I haven't had the Meister beer, but... I think I'm done. Can you finish that up? I can. Chop, chop. We get, go get it, I know, I know. Yes, so day two was a bit of seeing what we had not yet covered. Look at we're trolling for samples. Oh Hello. It seemed like everywhere we headed, we were offered something to try, and there was even sake to be sampled. And then all of a sudden... Okay. Uh, okay. That's a pretty bottle. Look at me, she hands me to me. I'm like, okay, I'll try some sake. I was just admiring this gorgeous bottle design, and all of a sudden I have sake in my hand. We said we were going to try some sake. Yeah. I guess I hadn't planned on trying it like this, but... Where we landed ourselves now is a sake specialty shop where instead of trying to get you try samples of like sushi, we're trying samples of sake. Look at this one. It has like konami stuff in it. It looks like tofu is in there. It looks, it looks rotten. <laughs> it, ew. Yeah. That looks kind of weird. Not sake. Oh, this is Not juice. Alcohol. This is juice. So, what does this taste like? So this is uh, rice only, no sugar. Oh, that's good. Eventually, the kids caught up with us. So how to go with the ninjas? Super fun. Did you guys fight each other? Yes. But like not, not actually hurt each other, obviously. Because otherwise guys... Largo wouldn't be here. Exactly. And then we started to realize that there was more to Nishiki than just food. I'm gonna guess this isn't a local tradition here. <laughs> it's no Krispy Kreme, but it's good. We looked at a kimono shop. Yeah, that's beautiful. Played with puppies, really cute puppies. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Laura. Laura, what did you have for lunch? Nothing. Whatever it is, it's it's. Okay. Uh, oh. And then it was time to sample our last item. Sweet rice dumpling with matcha sauce is on our list. Oh, that looks delicious. Oh. All right, who wants to be the first to try it? Now, we were told that we were going to walk around this market and get really creepy, not good for you food. But something tells me this is a little bit different. Does it taste like a dessert? It's not good, is it? I can tell by your face. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes very matcha-ish, but um, to an extreme. And I like matcha tea, but... Why don't you try it, Will? <laughs> you want another one? No, thank you. <laughs> Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> Where do you think I put the trash? Uh, the the issue with being in a place like this is that they don't allow you to go ahead and walk and eat. So they have signs all over the place saying, please don't walk and take your food with you. We will kindly dispose of it. And just like that, they're throwing away our food. It seems astonishing how the world is slowly changing in front of our eyes. This tourist mecca in Kyoto appears to have had its usual abundance of overseas tourists stripped away. Very little customer, mm. uh, tourism customer. Because of the virus? Yes, yes, yeah. virus. Yeah, yeah. So, so. No tourists right now, right? Yeah. 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 We're here. But no, so you We're are not very leaving. Good. Yeah, you are good to time me. So mm -hmm. you can look around there. But here in Japan, for the time being, life goes on as normal. So we've now exited Nishiki Market and it exits to like Mayhem Hustle. Well, it's actually pretty dead right there. But over here, look, it's Mayhem over here. And we're now going into like uh, an udon place. Look guys, you know, we're wrapping up our day and our, our days, I guess Nishiki Market ended up being a couple of days. We hope you enjoyed this vlog. Give it a thumbs up, tell your friends, comment, share, like, subscribe, whatever. We love you guys. Anything else, uh, go, go donate to your local charity, uh, be kind to animals. And, oh, <laughs> and all and, that fun uh, stuff. We'll see you next time with more Japan. Peace, okay. love, and happiness. Bye. 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 Curry. Yes. Oh, yeah. Very good for a hairy chest. Yes. Yes. I, I don't want I, to. I don't, I don't know if that's meant for us. Don't drink anymore. I don't, <laughs> I don't, want, I don't want hair on my chest. I don't want hair on my chest. I think that was lost in translation. I think so.